Hi everybody, welcome back to Just a Sister Thing, and welcome especially to my little crafty corner. I'm Kala, and I have a journal walkthrough to share with you. This is a about the size of a traveler's notebook. It is a single signature, a soft cover, and it is made out of a very thick um, upholstery fabric. Uh, very thick as you can see it's a nice little gator mouth the size is let me do this right <laughs> it's about five and a half by even though it has stuff sticking out of it the actual cover is eight and a half so five and a half by eight and a half and it has a tremendous amount of stitching on the inside, a great big bow on the outside, and in this little secret compartment is the writing board so that you can move through the book and do any type of journaling that you want on a nice hard surface. This is a very thick little book, so it has... Um, it has a lot of stuff in it. It's it, it needs that extra, <laughs> needs that writing board. On the front is a uh, handcrafted tag, and I slipped a title in here for it, uh, a name for the book, and it is Timeless Treasures, like I said before. And um, I think you could just reach in there and pop that out and name it whatever you wanted, or you can put your own name in there, or however you want to do it, but I thought that was pretty. I like the old-fashioned uh, print. It is stitched all throughout the journal. Might as well pop this open and get into it. I have um, a lot of floral and bird and butterfly prints throughout this little journal, and I just thought, those are such beautiful. I did this. This book is not like my other ones. It's not a theme book. It's very random, and it has a lot of different textures going on. So we have some real pretty, and some of these are kits, and I'd be happy to list them down below so that if you if it's something that you really love and you wanted to do um, something very similar, you could do that. So this is actually a decoupaged um, napkin. And I have a little decorated um, paper clip with a nice journaling card. This is stitched onto some real pretty um, textured rice paper. So it's sheer, but um, it has a beautiful print, uh, not print, but um, the seeds and, and whatnot are print, uh, pressed into it is what I'm trying to say. We have a little tuck here with all these little circles, all these little butterflies, and an envelope to stuff in it, whatever you want. Another big pocket with a journaling card or some stationery if you prefer with a cute little dangly bit. I love these little miniature paper clips. Lots of little doodads all throughout. Lots of texture, um, real soft fabrics, laces, uh, yarns. I wanted it to be a very hands-on discovery journal. Um, this is a oxide dyed um, little bag and it has a pocket behind it and a pocket on the inside here and we have a giant journaling card with a little tiny journaling card and lots of room you know what i'm just going to set stuff down i think it'll go faster and easier this is a envelope it's an altered envelope it has a again a giant uh, journaling card slips right in there has the little back flap this flap goes over top of that or anywhere in the book little dangly bit 
and another altered paper clip just holds it in place. A little postcard. I think that's uh, printable if I recall. This is one of my trifolds. It opens, opens. Like that. I'm hoping I'm getting that all in in the uh, camera there. And so it has it has the pocket on the back, has a pocket in the top where I put a large journaling uh, paper postcard. Pocket in the middle. Pocket down below. And you can see the little the little uh, cellophane window there. You can see the rose in it. And when I flip it over on this side, it has a little butterfly. Uh, I have a little cellophane, cell, <laughs> cell phone, a little cellophane envelope. And inside it has a little vintage Tim Holtz ticket. But how fun would this be to put your own movie tickets in? Something from a special night, special date. Have a little library card on a tuck. This is a more decoupage napkin. Here, here. Um, long journal journaling paper. These are all oxide dyes. They can be torn out and moved around, or you can make notes in them, but the colors are just extraordinary. Very, very pretty. And that just tucks right back in there. Big journaling card. And I think this is um, Artie Mays, one of her freebies from her website. And if you haven't been there, I highly recommend that. It's a treat. Um, lots of little fabric tabs. space to do some journaling, get, get some thoughts down. This is a sheet of, um, this is a page out of a uh, botanical work, uh, botanical encyclopedia. Nice big journaling card. I tried to make all, this is kind of an oversized, um, I would make a lot of little tiny cards, but I wanted this to have lots of space. Um, this is a page from the great English poets and throughout this is this beautiful wrapping paper that I found at an, uh, at an auction, an estate sale auction, um, with this, um, oh, this wrapping paper was just gorgeous. I think I have more of it in here. I know I have more of it in here. And, um, I believe it was from 1962. A little bow, you can tuck something in there. This is from a kit. Um, I can't think of what it is off the top of my head because I printed this out a long time ago um, and just got around to using it. So I will list that down below. And I live near, I, I live in um, close to the Canton, Canton Center, uh, the Canton Historical Society. Sorry, it was hard for me to think of that. And so every once in a while I go down there and I get authentic postcards. So this is an actual postcard, I think from, da, 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 it was from the 1960s. But this is a mausoleum that's down in Alliance, Ohio. Um, more decoupaging. Um, and this same historical center has, uh, it's the Historical Preservation Society is what it is. They have a lot of old photos, which I just, I love old photos and her, <laughs> look at her dress. And I don't know, is that a little model T Ford? I don't know, but I love it. Love it. Um, and these are actual authentic. They're not prints. They're, they're the real deal. This talks about this ship. And this is some uh, decoupage. Um, I dabbled a bit with um, paper clay. So 
I dried that out and uh, made some designs with it here and there in the book. Uh, this is coffee stained paper. It has a nice crinkle to it. Made a little window. <clears throat> Let me see here. Do I have something I can stick behind it? Ow. Okay. Little little shaker window. Has all kinds of little beads and glittery things in there. On the other side of it. I love the colors. I like these earth tones and I like the peach and the green and the blue all together. Um, it's not a theme book, but I do like kind of concurrent. I like colors that, that do go well together. And this is a summer story. It's a nice big journaling card. This actually came from a um, a big old book of uh, scrapbook paper. This has a, this is an embossed piece of paper. I'm hoping that you can see it. Let me lift that. Uh, it has a altered paper clip. That paper clip kind of locks down this little book of extra rice paper. It's very soft. You can see how feathery soft it is. Little stamped book there. The other half of that um, uh, encyclopedia, botanical encyclopedia. More journaling space. This I whenever I put lace or anything like that on, I always try to leave a little bit of a space there so that if you want to use it as a tuck. Say you have a letter from someone that you want to keep and immortalize, put in a little spot, then you've got it. Uh, more real soft, fuzzy fabric and lace and yarn. Um, this is something that's kind of neat. This is an old bill from Funk and Wagnalls. I don't know if everybody will remember that, but that was an encyclopedia set. Uh, this was the garden. Actually, this is the garden encyclopedia that I took this page out of. So when I was flipping through it, I found this. So I put little butterflies on it and stamped it a little bit. And it has a. It had personal information on the back. So I went ahead and covered that. Some eyelash, an eyelash trim. This is more of that wrapping paper. I kind of treasure it. I made a small envelope out of this. I, I didn't mark it or change it in any way. Um, just made a little envelope. And this is a lace pocket. And then I made a little, little writing tab there. Um, also something very unique. This is also authentic and not a photocopy. So you'd be getting the original. Uh, this is from 1962. This actually came, uh, again, I found this um, in a box of uh, postcards. And I really can't read it all, but I'm sure that anybody who does. I think it's a, a letter from um, someone who lived locally in Santa. It's a postcard. So I love that. More of the antique uh, wrapping paper some pretty lace trim and a writing space. I put a real pretty rose in there. And this little book is nice and fat, so I was able to put more puffy stuff in there. And these are printable postcards. They're not the actual um, original authentic but I thought they were pretty. They had the right color scheme, so they kind of went with this little earthy. And a nice little bookmark in the back. Well, I just folded that clip, so let me undo it. It's a little bookmark made out of uh, paper, um, music paper. Put that back on there. Some more of the soft... Um, rice paper. I love to use rice paper whenever I can. Um, and this is the other side of the print that I will list below. I, I just, I think the print is really pretty. Um, and it's, it's not just a single solitary color. It's 
got a lot of different stuff going on. Makes it more interesting. And that is this little journal. This journal is going to be listed on a on Etsy, and I will list that down below. So I don't want to take up your whole evening looking at it, but I, I thank you for joining me, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.